Candidates who submitted nominations earlier today met their supporters outside the premises of the National Elections Commission. Sajid Premadasa, who submitted his nominations from the New Democratic Front, received a warm welcome from his supporters opposite the National Election Commission. I would like to take this opportunity to state that we will work together towards creating a massive revolution in the country centered around modern technology to open the doors of development to the general public of this country, to give the people the right to life and to create a beautiful country. Presidential candidate of the Pudujana Perumuna Gotabe Rajapaksa met with his party supporters outside the National Elections Commission. <laughs> On the 16th of this month, Gota Bear Raj Paksa will become the president of this country. Get ready on the 16th to celebrate victory on the 17th with this same vigor. <laughs> Presidential candidate of the National People's Movement, Anura Kumar Disa Naika, also received a warm welcome from his party supporters after submitting his nominations. <laughs> The political history of the past 71 years has taught us many lessons. This has proved that these two outdated parties can take this country forward. This is why we are asking the people to build a government that will fulfill the aspirations of the people. <laughs> Meanwhile, other presidential candidates also spoke to the media after submitting their nominations. The handing over of nominations shows clearly the victory that we have achieved. After today, we are beginning our campaign. Our campaign is clearly a march towards victory. The people of this country have been suffering for the past 71 years. Today, they have an impartial candidate to represent them. The people who stole from the country, the people who divided the country and the supporters of Americans are the people who have been found eligible to submit nominations. We are here to fix this country. No matter who submits nominations, I will definitely win. If you want to know the winning secret, I invite you all to come to the Sugatadasa Indo Stadium on the 11th of October to save the country from this death trap that we are in. We need 10 billion to manage the economy. The two main parties that have been ruling the country for the past 72 years have not been able to save the country. Let's reject this neoliberal economy. Let's save the farmers of the country and the working class of this country from this debt. The United Socialist Party is sending out the message to enter into a path of socialism through submitting nominations. This is the request that the party candidate makes from the people. I am the only female candidate to submit nominations. The women in this country are suffering. 700 women from our country travel overseas to work every day. They are leaving their children as they do not have hope. My hope is to bring hope to the poor men, single Tamil Muslim all alike. 
ඇතිම කිරීම තමයි මගේ අරමුණ දූෂිත පාලකයන් එළුවේ we have started the fight to chase away these corrupt rulers we are planning on gathering all the youth in the country and to record a resounding victory at the presidential election ග්‍රහණයක් ගන්න බලාපොරොත්තු වෙනවා මේ වෙනකොට රට මූණ දෙමින් තියෙන ආර්ථික අරමුදේ The country is currently facing an economic crisis. The country is also facing a political crisis, especially with the power struggle between China and the United States. We are facing a military threat. Therefore, you must use your vote against it. The people of this country need a system that creates true democracy and the power of the people in the country. We ask the general public of the country to join hands with us.